Day four started with breakfast, packing up, Guten Morgen, and heading to the train station. Reach Landwasser, and then to Kur. And then we rode the Glacier the Express, which is a famous there. railway that goes from oh, St. Moritz all the way to Zermatt. St. Moritz is on the southeast side, Zermatt is on the southwest side, and it goes right through the heart of Switzerland and the Swiss Alps, which consists of all the largest mountains in the Alps. years and covers some of the most beautiful scenery in Europe. <laughs> Impression so far. Gym, two hours in. Lots of clouds. We are having a three course meal. I don't know what's happening. They do have Coke Zero though, which is what I will be having. It was a pretty long trip. It was about eight hours to get from St. Moritz all the way to Zermatt. The train ride was one of the main things that we came to Switzerland for, because there really isn't a better way to see the scenery of Switzerland than something like that. What's going on right now, Sarah? We're at the top. We're at the top? Is that what this is? No, we, you've come off the top, we're going down, yeah. Uh, this is the most scenic spot of the trip. <laughs> most picturesque. <laughs> Down here, if you look closely, you can see Zermatt. <laughs> nice. Um, Italian countryside. So it's called the Glacier Express, and generally express denotes a faster train, but it's coined for being the slowest express train in the world. And I think a part of that might have been intentional to slow down and see the scenery of Switzerland. It's long. It's good. Long. Jim, do you have a highlight of the journey, of the adventure? Well, the latter part was better when the sun came out. You start seeing colors again. Wow. Good morning. We got to the city as our mat and checked in and Zermatt's a lot different than St. Moritz, so both of them seem like tourist towns, but Zermatt to me seemed even more so. It seems like there's nobody here but visitors, but it's really pretty, it feels safe, and it was fun last night just to walk through the city center. We ended up eating at a fondue place. I loved the fondue place. I love the smell of cheese in an old, cozy building. How are the, the cheese sweats, Kayla? Tough. I'm sick. I'm sick, Tom. But I may have been the only one that was actually a fan of the smell of the place. Could you describe the aroma in here, Sarah? It smells like cheese. Do you like that smell? No. <laughs> I now smell of beef and cheese. <laughs> But after that, we walked around a little bit more, enjoyed the rest of the evening, and called it a night. Sarah, we're at the halfway point of our vacation in Switzerland. How are you feeling about your vacation in Switzerland so far? Pretty good. Right now, I feel really full of cheese. And a lot of cheese. And carbohydrates. What's been your favorite thing so far? I liked going to Lake Como, Bellagio. I like small Italian alleyways. So I like that. All right. 
Have a good rest of vacation. Okay, thanks. Bye. Bye-bye. Which brings us to day five. <laughs>